Hello everybody, thank you for joining me here. Episode 12 of our Bellicor Immortal Empires campaign. Carrying on from exactly where I left it. Where, where did I leave it? <laughs> Joking. We're um, attacking Throt the Unclean. And it looks like everything's going to go alright. His army is not very good. He's very good, but he's going up against a tough opponent. Yeah, we've got to win this. Uh, I'll put the garrison under AI control. Maybe it'll distract him. Highly likely it'll do absolutely nothing at all. If you are watching this, thank you very much. I hope you're enjoying it. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. That would be wonderful. So far, this is a very enjoyable campaign. Highly recommended. And if you are not terrible at playing, you'd probably be in a lot better position by now. I am enjoying myself though, so that's the main thing. This map again. Yeah, I think... Yeah, they've got <laughs> no war machines. Hmm. It's kind of a shame with fighting Throt and his armies like that. Sometimes, I think I said this before in another campaign, I do wonder if each lord should have like a build template or something that um, maybe their army might follow. You know, it's more likely to come across as Throt in the field with a, a proper clan molder army instead of this. But anyway, I'm sure it pretty makes things way more complicated. We can just blob up here big time. <clears throat> so there's definite room for improvement in this army. Plate bearers will go up to exalted plate bearers soonish. I think. I might drop one of the units of infantry. I think it's a little bit too infantry heavy. These three units here need to be knights for sure. Ah, reinforcements are here. So, just taking my time. <clears throat> Let's get some cheeky damage in. Oh, they are being shot at. Didn't really hit anybody, sadly. That was uh, very stupid of that rat ogre. <laughs> he, he's like proper ploughed in then, didn't he? The rat ogre is really happy. <clears throat> He's going to be regressing that quite quickly. Where's that horrible lord? Hard to see anything at the moment in that melee madness. There he is. Right. Bloodthirster and Bellicor into Throt. For sure.
Okay, Throts. He's not doing too badly, actually. Did quite a lot of damage, but eventually <coughs> we're overcoming. Cool. Um, I'll be to chase him, he's going to get off. Just, just finish him. He's probably the biggest threat now, Throp. Allies actually did a half decent job. <laughs> Turned up. Fair play to him. Let's try and get some health back on Bellicor. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, Throt is still there. Man, he is slippery. Right. Okay, that's helped for sure. Yeah, get a little bit of healing onto Bellicor, not sure how much. We should get a full turns replenishment as well, so I think that we're going to get at least 35-40% of our health back. So if I can get him just a little bit further, that'll do. It may be completely pointless, uh, me doing that. We're getting like a little 5% extra health, but who knows. So we're going to get an extra 10% health for Bellicor, which is nice. Um, let's take the replenishment. Cool, might even get another fight. Cool. I don't know if I do want to go that way anymore. I think I'd rather leave that army. Come back this way so I'm closer. I think that's probably the best option. Brass creep about to go up, so I'm going to need some money next turn, which we've got. Lord of Shadows, God Maker. Uh, let's go for a point of Lightning Strike. More power. Cool, this guy's got loads of stuff. Okay, Festus. Buffing his troops for sure. Forsaken are they? 
demonic. How do we buff those? Are they non-demonic infantry? I think they are. We'll find out in a moment. Yeah. I think they must be. Yeah, they are. So, let's have a go with some Forsaken. Um, because if I get another, I'm just thinking about the armor on top of that. The plus twelve armor on top of that. That's that's ninety seven armor on a relatively quick, frenzied, poisoned, hard hitting unit. It's immune to psychology as well. I th I think they could be really good. I'm gonna have a go, especially when they're being constantly healed and buffed by uh, Festus. Cool. Right, at last, ending the turn. Interesting. What's going to happen? I've got no idea at this point. Um, it's still relatively early but the ultimate crisis happened a long time ago and they I'm sure have had a massive impact okay this is going to be an interesting one auto is predicting that Ooh. they have to attack me Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to go on the offensive, I think, and break through, charge into their lines. They've got they do have a few melee units. That's annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm, won't be easy. I can heal the giant at the start. That's something. Uh, whilst they move up, and then we're going to have to spring a bit of a uh, something. <laughs> I wouldn't call it an ambush. So I want to fight them out in the open. Just outside the forest. That's okay. Actually, need all of them. To be honest, I'm just going to do a really big line. Those in the middle. The beasts of Nurgle need to be near. The spawn needs to be near. Okay. Uh, uncle for Uncle back there. The dog's poised to flank. I think that'll do. So let's make sure the giant's right next to me. Yes, it is. Okay, immediately start healing the giant. Okay. They will be coming towards us. At which point I think I need to advance. Perhaps a little screen... Uh, just let's put these nurglings forward so if anything gets shot at it'll be them and it'll reveal where they are okay oh sorry about that Oh, sorry, you didn't see it. I, uh, something popped up on my screen. Now, they attacked me. There we go, being shot. Okay, we're all the way over there. Interesting. In we go. 
Hopefully these nurglings will survive long enough to get me get to let me get into position. Each unit kind of needs to have its own little target. Okay, dog's being shot at. She's disappointing. Nurglings crumbling. Okay. Try and get some range damage going. Okay, <clears throat> we're doing alright, we're doing alright. Apart from over there, where they're doing nothing. Oh, so annoying. So, so annoying when that happens. Okay, that uncle for uncle just stood being shot. Really annoying as well. Maybe I'll get his spells off before I die. And the giant's got to stay near. Okay. Giant's dying. Yeah, Giant's going to go. This is a shame. But not the end of the world. I need to get some more support up onto those flanks. Because uh, they're going to start shooting at us for sure. I don't know what that scroll does, but we're about to find out. That should just be a magic missile. Yeah. Yeah, there goes Uncle for Uncle. The giant's hung on, though. Okay, cool. It's going to work. Uh, debuff on them. I think we're going to be alright. I think the giant might survive. So, losing one giant, uh, losing one big guy's sad, but not the end of the world. Um, a little bit risky there, but. too bad. <laughs> In fact, that spell just won the uh, won the battle. Right. So we're going to try and heal some stuff up. 
try and kill some stuff. Don't really want any of this running around being a pain. Cool. So we got through it. I uh, wasn't sure about that. It looked hard. It could have gone very differently if if I didn't close them down. Uh, the damage would have been horrific. It is quite a small range on the uh, healing effect. It kind of fits thematically that at the end of the battle, Uncle Festus would heal his Nurgle minions. It's just not portrayed in a very <laughs> visually appealing way. Um, I wonder if, like, little event options at the end of battles would be cool. There's a whole other sort of avenue they haven't looked at. Is, um, I don't know, stratagems and abilities that heroes could use. Because they have them in the... Uh, on the tabletop, heroes and lords can do loads of cut stuff that interacts with the game mechanically. In this, there's obviously scouts and assassins and whatever else that your heroes can do. But it would be cool if it was like, you know, actively do X at the end of a battle or... Who knows? We lost uncle for uncle. Some nurglings and the giants all right. So I'll take that. Um, I do like uncle for uncle, but he needs a little bit of micromanagement. Yeah. Look at the map. Oh, that's excellent. Uh... I'll definitely take a bonus to melee attack for all armies. Oh, oh yes. Hey, Karen's back. Mage is back. Okay. So I... I lost one scout and gained another one back immediately. Okay. Um, what's going on over here? If that's the scout of shadows... Oh, no, it's fire, isn't it? This guy's metal. A fire mage could be good with Festus. Let's have a look. A massive flaming sword of ruin. Buff would be great. Obviously burning heads good. He Kindle Flame. Ah. So that would stack really nicely with my banner of flame. I sound like such a dork. <laughs> but it would. So I'd be dealing fire damage, so that'd be another 20% fire damage from... Excuse me. Let's have a look. So they'd, they'd have flaming attacks. So I presume it's the whole attack would be flaming and poison. That's terrifying. Yeah, I think the fire mage is going to go join Festus. So I'm not going to move him. Not much going on down there. Talibheim looking vulnerable. Um, I mean, we've got some juicy targets. Belakor could go take out these... Um, the Empire. I don't know if we can resist eating that. How strong are they?
Um, not as strong as us, but still potent. Moderate threat. They absolutely hate it. It's only a matter of time, isn't it? Uh, it's, a, it's too big to let romp around. That's for sure. Garrison in there. Definitely. And more money. Yeah. Okay. Lord of Bellacor into Baldrick Kemp. Is that the right call? Starts a war with the Empire. I'm not worried about that. Bellacor wouldn't be too bothered about that either. Here we go. War it is. Ah, oh, I didn't even know there were some elves hanging around there. Can't auto it. Going to enjoy slaughtering these. I, I always think that wizard with the uh, the amber wizard looks stupid. With the, the is that an eagle? I think that's like an eagle hat. He, uh, I don't know. He does. <laughs> He's not very like majestic or something like that. I could kind of see him more as a druid than a wizard. But I suppose that's what the amber wizard is. Yeah, they can do their thing. So, we've not fought a more traditional army, I don't think, with this. Um... We're going to absolutely rinse them in the combat. That is for sure. In the melee, they will lose. I just don't want to be shot. But all those crossbows. I think a few cheeky spell casts with Bellacor. Let's form the guys up. In the meantime. A bit squashed there. Okay. Man, it's, it's certainly going to look pretty cool, this army. Whilst they're doing that, I'm going to zoom up over here and try and nuke some of these uh, crossbowmen. Oh, no way, they're moving. They're just Empire Knights as well. Oh! I mean... The fact that I can just do it immediately is crazy. Just going to focus on the missile troops. Our infantry is going to take care of the rest. And then I just pop my shield and fly off. Oh, it's too juicy. Can't resist it. that a... I thought a flock of doom was going off or something. Oh yeah, they've got their wood elf allies. Well, in we go. Let's go and kill their lord. <laughs> I 
We are a couple of knights floating around. Okay. That's that tidied up. I do find myself holding down space a lot. I noticed this recently in another video. It just uh, helps me see what's going on. Devastating, that was. Absolutely devastating. Consumes those armies. Nice. I do have another battle. Oh, we've got some sorting out to do in this episode as well. Needs to happen. I've got another Banner of Flame. I think we can get more damage out of Bellicor's army. Cool. One, one positive about not playing as Festus is that I don't have to sit there at the end of every battle regenerating hit points because I can't. So it does save you time. So it's, it's funny, like a positive thing can have a negative impact, right? I suppose that's quite blazingly obvious, but not if you're me. The eagle dude got punched in the face by a roided up chaos worshipper. Or worse, his head chopped off. Apparently they love chopping heads off, the blood letters. It's a big part of their job is actually collecting skulls. Um, at the moment, yeah, let's uh, take replenishments. Okay. So, the question now... Do I just sit in Middenheim? I think so. Because I've got enough there to protect. The mage goes in. Cool. So a Festus fire build. I'm concerned about here. Annoyingly, I can't get any more heroes to scout. I do wonder about chucking a lord in. Karen is back. Uh, Greg's four more turns away. Karen is shadow as well. It's just the investment. I think we're going to have to go for it. So if I pop Karen in this turn, I suppose I could wait. No, I've got one more turn, haven't I? Right, so not this turn, but I will be putting another army in her gig. It should be able to... It should be able to pop up a full stack. There's loads of corruption. Cool. Now, there is a rebellion coming at the end of this turn. They may end up attacking Hergig anyway. Do I go for it in Crude and Vold instead? Ah, uh, which one's the capital? I'm sure the uh, rebellion will take place at Hergig, so I think I can recruit here. 
with Karen. Next turn. <laughs> okay. Right. He needs the Banner of Eternal Flame. Beast Tame is pointless. Yeah, Banner. Um, what else have we got? Barbarian's good. Probably better than the Corruption. Um, income from sacking settlements. I do sack occasionally. That'll do. I actually think the Helm of Discord suits him. I'm going to go for the Armour of Destiny on this dude. Okay. That's pretty much what I want to do. He's not going to be in combat that much. Uh, these guys aren't worth my time unless there's something that boosted their scouting. Yeah, let's buff his troops up. Cool. And we've got a point of leadership. 150 armor, 90 leadership. Great melee stats. Pretty good. Pretty good. Adds a lot of punch to wherever he is. I'm not going to spend any money there. Let's just quickly check the old diplomacy, see if we can get any money. Yeah, I'll take an alliance anywhere I can. We just want the money. <laughs> Bellicor cares not. Unless they were elves or something particularly offensive to him. Lizard men. So I split the armies up. This could go wrong. It's Hockland that's returned there, those rebels. Hmm. Tyrion's over there on the coast. Musalon invading Ulfwan down there. You see that? Pretty cool. Whoa. Yeah, they've got some problems down in uh, Ulfwan. Okay. Cool. So, yep, I got away with that. I was really worried these rebels would pop up and then attack Hergig, and then I couldn't recruit there. We are going to have to kill them. Absolutely. His army's cool. And we're going to... Yeah, I mean... If, yeah, big flaming ball of death going up against the Wood Elves. Oh, it's just that big pile of missile firepower there. Let's slow me down. Bellicor can assist. Pretty much forces me, though... I wonder if Festus defends, we kill the Wood Elves, we should win that. Um, and then Bellicor goes out and gets some money. He could probably get into uh, Weisman, then the Black Pit. Lots of money to be made there. Keeps him close by. Laurelorn is 
contained because Festus has pushed back there. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I go straight for the black pit. We could really do with having a little look, and we're gonna have to pop the mage out. Ooh. Let's pop a different one out. Oh, we don't have one. Uh, the hero, if Bellacore isn't gonna fight this turn, then I can get his hero out and about. Good. Glad I came and had a look. So there's another stack there. So, absolutely very good. <laughs> Can't split them up at all. Can't split them up. One, two, three, four enemies there. Yeah, let's deal with this guy. Festus. And I might as well back him up with Bellacore. Um, I do have a space in the army. There's no point. It's a waste of money. Okay, Festus. He's running off. Not very far. He's going to be out the range of Bellacor. So it's going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Emano, Emano. What do we want here? Without crippling the bank. Do I need to spend any money? I should be okay here. I'm going to have to be. <laughs> in we go. Cool. Hawk Riders are going to shoot me a lot. But I can kill the rest of their army. Everything's fully healed. Hopefully I can deliver the giant in a decent state. Uh, we're on a hill as well. I guess I want to come from this left side and try and push them off away from the trees down there. Party in the tree forest. Have I got any good spells with him? No, we've only got Fireball, but whenever he casts Fireball, it's going to cause that big uh, damage debuff. Event oh no, he hasn't got that yet, have he? I'm well ahead of myself. He needs to level up. But we will have fire damage from Festus. Foolish Dark Haven. Yeah, so they're flaming and poison. That sounds horrendous. Ooh, so it's a giant. Okay. Run over here. I'm just going to have to gun it. for their uh, missile troops. Every now and then there's going to be an arrow of off. I can't do anything about it. Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> right, up we come. Up we come. Sneaking through into the trees now. Those bird riders are ominous on the horizon. They're going to cause a lot of pain. So I need to make a 
blob of death. I think I'm going to keep that guy in a big blob there. The marauders I'm going to run separately, chasing down missile troops. Doggos on the left. Spawn I'm going to put into group one actually. They'll do a better job if they're constantly being regenerated. Right then. Here we go with the Marauders. I'll give that a little bit of time. Actually, the Marauder's job is to chase down missile troops, ultimately. We're going straight for the Lord. Doggo's on the side there. Terrible damage coming in, I'm sure. There's all their missile troops on the right. Oh, terrible, terrible firepower. It is horrendous. Oh, <laughs> cool. But once we get in, we're all right. That's what's funny. Right, it's going to kill the enemy lord for sure. For sure. Nice debuff on him. Lovely. And another one on him. Try and get some spells going off for once. What's going on here? Dogs just doing nothing for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, no, let's go this way. Let's go this way. You're going to them. Okay, cool. Giant is not attacking the Lord for some reason. These war dancers need to die. Okay, dog's coming back. You've got to stay exactly where he is. Not going great. Not going great, i got to say. Problem is, just not shot down their shooting. In fact, going to have to. Let's peel these blobs off. Little disappointed that the... Um, what's his name? That the tree lord is still alive. Thought a giant would be good at that. A flaming poison giant. Okay, got some troops coming back here. That's a disaster zone over there. Shouldn't have split them up. Mistake, for sure. But, here we are. Alright. 
Uh, we've got quite a lot more magic, which is nice. Maybe I should have been concentrating it here. Yeah, I would have... Yeah, yeah there's another <laughs> big mistake. That's super good. Come on now. Uh, we're doing okay. I don't know if we're going to win. Let's get everything back. They've still got loads of ammo. That's the problem. I just can't kill that tree lord. Is it over? I'm not sure. Heavy losses. Thing is, I think we're doing alright. We're doing alright because they've really uh, bobbed up, which is to our advantage. If I could just kill this tree, man. Just everything's being shot everywhere we go <laughs> because of these bloody eagles. Come on, kill the giant. That's, don't get no, sorry, don't kill the giant. Kill the tree man. Come on. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm not feeling amazingly confident. Tree Lord is taking some damage. Is it Giant versus Tree Lord? Yeah, it does seem to be. That's going to help a lot. Debuffing the giant, uh, the tree man. We're so close. Couple of hits. Uh, let's get them back. I just want to kill the tree man. I can't see what's going on. He's so close to dying. Everything attacking. <laughs> That's just a random eagle coming in. Man, I put so many debuffs on this tree guy. I just want to kill the tree man. 
just for my sense of pride, really. I think I can probably hit my own guys a little bit. Is he healing? If I switch to damage just for a moment, should get him. Oh, is it tiny? No, that was a mistake. Oh, I can't switch back for ages. Have I just killed all my own guys? Yeah! Suck on that. <laughs> oh, yes. I mean, what a victory. That was uh, ridiculous. I can't believe it. I can't believe that. It was well worth it. As soon as I killed their lord, bam, they went. And I was literally casting spells on myself as well to get him. It was risky. The giant was very close. Um, not sure how I'm feeling about the aftermath. Were there other armies in range? I can't remember. Oh, but it's our turn. We can replenish. Yes, we're fine. Hey, hey, good stuff. Another fantastic things about the Warriors of Chaos is instant recruitment. I hate having to wait for uh, recruitment. I'm sure everybody does. You have to be a lot more organized. And uh, that's not my thing. <laughs> Chaos and fun. Sometimes I can play uh, disciplined. I mean, I've got that Grom Brindle file. That's pretty, pretty organized. Um, going to take the money because it's likely I'm going to have to buy new units anyway. A lot of them are battered. Some battered units. Oh, -ho. well, the money we make is crazy. Right, what can we do for you? We can definitely go for another Beast of Nurgle. That's a no-brainer. Uncle for Uncle's ages. Is there anything big and tanky? Summoners of Rage. They're really expensive. 490. I don't think they're worth that. Uh, Mirigar Slanesh. I'm saving them. What's so good about these spawn? Hmm, not a lot. Can I upgrade any of these guys? Yes, I can. Malleus is mine. I named it. So we can either go chosen of Nurgle or sorry, with normal weapons or sorry, chaos. <laughs> God. Darkhaven, wake up. We can either have normal warriors of Nurgle or warriors of Nurgle with great weapons. I think the armor piercing is just necessary, isn't it? Uh, only one of them could go up, which is a shame. Apparently it's an upgrade to go into spawn, but I'm going to leave them as Forsaken. I think they look pretty good to me. Sadly, that's it. Um, okay. We could grab some more marauders. Am I going to get attacked? Oh, 
know, if I've got movement, I could just jump into Crude and Vold for a turn and heal up even more. That's a no-brainer, right? Yeah, cool. Let's see what we get next turn. Now, Bellicor is nearby as well. If I pull him this way, perfect. Albion. I might as well spend that. It is decreasing. Um, not much I can do about that. Until I go to tier 5. Um, I could drop the growth, <laughs> drop the growth building, and maybe go for something that gives me control. Uh, because I'm miles off tier five. The investment to get that there, you know, is a lot. I don't want to have to recruit another army to go back and put it down. It's got a good garrison. If I keep the control high, we make more money. So that's the plan there. We'll drop the growth. And put something to stabilise it. And then we're going to... Yeah, probably will build that one. Why not? We've got more money from that. And that builds next turn. Cool. Things are looking pretty good. And definitely Fireball, Kindle Flame. And then we can do Flaming Sword of Ruin as well with a big... That's going to be crazy powerful. I can't wait to see that combo. Uh, this is the Source of Fire. Um, No, I don't want to switch him. That's Festus's Fire Mage. He needs to stay where he is. I was the absolute ruler of this world. Cool. Ending the turn, and hopefully the episode as well. Looks like I forgot to move that guy. That's okay. He's in a creep. <laughs> He's in a key point. That's fine with me. Rebellion at Middenstag. Not much else going on. Are we going to get through the end turn? And I also think this is the longest I've made it with the crisis. So that's good. Viktor Gregorovich is in Talapheim. That's it. Definitely going to the end game with this. I can tell. Oh, yes. Uh, who died? Valkyrs died. Oh, ho. no way. No way. Did we just get... Did we just get Valky the bloody... No way, we did. Yes, that's so cool. Okay, guys, we'll take care of that next time. Thank you for watching. See you later.